During 2020, it's been really difficult for me to find clothes for my dolls. And so I decided to go ahead and make some doll clothes myself. I had a bunch of clothes that don't fit me anymore and I decided the best thing to do would to be upcycle that fabric to make doll clothes for my dolls. So I'm going to make a pattern for my mini fee. I'm measuring all the standard places that you need to know in order to make clothes. I want to make sure that the leg length is right. I previously made some pants for a slim MSD, so I do know the general shape that I want it to be. So I'm just going to draw the length of the pants and I'm going to use the straight edge as a fold. As for the waist, I'm going to divide my measurement by four so that I can make sure that it fits once it's all opened up and sewed together. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how steep I need my curve to be for the inside of the crotch area. That's always a little bit tricky sometimes. You don't want it to be too baggy and you don't want it to be too tight either, especially on boys. Now I'm going to draw the ankle and divide that measurement by half. I am going to make sure that I add notation and the hem on the pattern. I always almost forget the hem part. So don't forget that step, otherwise your pants will end up a lot skinnier than you were probably anticipating. I probably should have grabbed some better scissors for this, but... These little kitty scissors work okay. So here's the pants I'm going to use. I've turned them inside out so that I can line the pattern up. I've decided to use the bottom of the leg as the top of the pants to kind of spare myself some sewing. And then the folded edge I'm going to put on the sewn edge of the pants so that it looks like I did more sewing than I am actually going to do. And yet again, I probably should have gotten better scissors or remembered that I have a rotary cutter in my life, but you know, whatever. Sometimes with smaller clothes, using a rotary cutter can be a little perilous, so I use scissors a bit more often times, but um, this fabric is actually so stretchy, um, it's easier to just use a rotary cutter. So now I'm going to cut the other leg, doing the same thing, lining the fold up on the sewn edge. And this is a really cool chalking tool that I found. I think it's technically for quilting, but it's good for any type of sewing. Again, cutting it out. So now I'm just going to hold it up to my doll just to make sure that nothing seems super off. And I like that fit. So we're going to pin the pant leg together 
Um, I like to sew each leg individually first. So I'm going to be pinning that inner leg area so I can sew it. So as you can tell with these pants, um, the fabric I'm using is really stretchy, so I'm not actually going to be adding a button or anything. We have the other one. And make sure that you have the wrong side out for this, that way your sewn edge will be on the inside of the pants when you invert them. So now I have sewn that edge and I'm going to try it on the doll again, make sure it looks okay before I sew the two pieces together. The way that I like to sew the two legs together is to turn one right side out, keep one inside out, and then put them inside of each other. This makes it a lot easier to sew them together. So you'll see I have right sides together and I'm just going to pin along the sewing edge. You want to make sure that you get those top parts lined up especially, otherwise it'll look really weird. And definitely get that very center crotch part pinned together as well. You don't want any pant holes so you don't want them. Now I've kind of skipped a step but I did hem the bottom of the pants. <laughs> and um, they fit just perfectly. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. And now I will have a pattern to manipulate for future sewing projects.